A young mother ripped from her family. Tonight, her accused killer, a woman and the victim's landlord, is behind bars, accused of dismembering her body. CBS 2's Catherine Brown has the story from Brownsville. Neighbors say Leia Cuevas had been living here at 346 Sumter Street, acting as landlord for less than two years. But in that time, she developed quite a reputation. She's a really angry person. That's how many in this community describe Leia Cuevas. The 42-year-old is charged with the unthinkable, murdering a woman she collected rent from, Chanel Latoya Brown, then dismembering her. Brown's devastated family can hardly come to grips with the horror. She's a wonderful person, the best person you'd ever want to meet. Very loving, very kind, and very gentle. Her remains were found severed and scattered across several towns on Long Island. The 27-year-old had four children who were in their native Guyana for the summer with her husband, who was clearly shaken after coming face to face with his wife's accused killer. I don't think that I can script my emotions to you. You know, it's um, it's surreal. Prosecutors say Cuevas decapitated Brown while the young mother was still alive and begging for her life. Her last words overheard amid violent screams. No, Leia, no, Lee, what are you doing? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Investigators say it happened shortly after the two had a loud argument over unpaid rent. Donald Watson witnessed that altercation. We heard all the argument, all the argument, all the argument, and we never knew that it escalated to this, over $200. Yeah. That's what it's about, $200. And boy, she got in the cab and she left, and then nobody saw her again. Is this is a real life horror show. Who wants to see this on their block? Cuevas is charged with second degree murder. If convicted, she faces life in prison. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, I'm Catherine Brown, CBS 2 News.